Chris Camacho standing there watching, throwing a left right over, a tentative right by Haugen. I noticed between rounds that Camacho was breathing a little more heavily than we're used to seeing him, which shows that this kind of fight, where you're active for more minutes of a round, is really harder on the conditioning than a fight where you're constantly dancing and moving. He has never experienced that before, George. And, of course, we are at high altitude here in Reno. Haugen's been here three and a half weeks, much longer than Camacho. He believes that should give him an advantage in the later rounds. Camacho's been smart, though. He hasn't moved that much. So he's conserved a lot of energy. Hector has been here in Reno at this altitude for nine days compared to the three and a half weeks for Haugen. Greg believes that should be a big advantage for him. But the men in Camacho's corner were telling him that Haugen's completely shot. That may be, but Camacho may better stay off the rope, off those ropes. He's going to give Haugen a lot of confidence. Haugen can take a good shot and deliver two more. I think Camacho's too smart and too careful to believe that Haugen's completely shot at this point of the you fight. We're believe. only halfway through. Fighters who are accustomed to going 12 rounds, they have breathing spells where they don't do much, sit around and pace themselves, and they come back a little later. Camacho is doing as much right now. That was an interesting exchange on the ropes there, George. Normally we could expect Camacho to hold on there, wait for them to get split up, but he fought his way off the ropes with a good body combination. Because his corner has told him to stay off those ropes every day they're doing training. So he's getting on the rope and he's thinking about, they're going to talk about me if I don't do something. So he's trying to really show them that, hey, I'm okay. His corner. Landed a good straight left hand that time for my there. Yeah, and there are people in the crowd who are now rooting openly for Hector. He's putting on a good show. Hogan is hurt on his right side, too. Camacho. What do you mean by that? Camacho has hit him right up below the right elbow, and it's hurt. Believe me, it's hurt. Now Haugen's starting to land straight right hands, though. He's nailed a couple of them in the last 30 seconds. Right side is hurt. That may change a little bit, too. You can only know when Camacho fakes him. If he covers up and tries to protect that side, you know for sure it's hurt. What are you seeing here, George, that tells you that his right side is hurting? I saw him flinch after one punch for certain. This is when the order of feigning comes in. Find out where a guy is protecting, what he's protecting. Then you know for sure Camacho isn't doing that right now. Well, you know, Haugen told us he'd been bothered for three and a half years by a rotator cuff injury to his right shoulder. Oh, that could be the whole shoulder and right side acting up on him there. Don't stand up for nothing. He's got all the conditions in the world. Move him, move him. He is super tired. He's fat at 39 pounds, 139 pounds. Picking at him away, you know, but you got to start picking up your punches now. Let's throw three, four, five punches. All right, not just one, two. Let's start picking it up a little bit now. Let's pressure the hell out of him. Okay. Grab your most punches yeah. there. When he back, when he stepped back. Here you see where Camacho went to the ropes. Haugen tried to do something, and Camacho, watch, just fought his way out there into the middle of the ring. You know, Camacho's going to a place he's never been before. He's never fought a fight like this that I certainly can recall. It takes a lot of energy, and let's see if he can sustain that through the rest of the fight. Solid left hand from Camacho to begin proceedings in the eighth round. Not only so, but he came out fainting and fainting to see, just check out what's going on. That's a surprise. He's a well-experienced fighter, Hector Camacho is. Maybe he's seen the same thing you've seen about Haugen's right side, and he lands another left right on the button. Haugen seems to come in, does the right thing, but he gets back out afterwards. Once you come in, you got to stay there until the bell rings.
if Hogan can just get him there, stay there. Don't stop punching. Threw a good right hand to the chest again. Hogan did. A good right move. hand by Camacho. You know, there are two things happening here, George. Well, there's a combination. But for a minute, it looked as though while Camacho was becoming more accurate and landing more consistently with harder punches, he was also beginning to satisfy himself with one punch at a time and then uh, stepping away. That's right. Hogan is doing the right thing. He just steps out after he lands two or three shots. He just gets out and he gets back again. Two hard punches to the rib cage by Hogan before referee Bobby Ferraro was able to break him up. And now's the time when Haugen promises that he would step up the tempo. He has. Haugen with a hard right hand just below the chin. Haugen is going for broke now. He realizes he's behind on points. He's going to try for a knockout. In 40 fights, Hector Camacho has never been knocked out. Camacho's back in charge with his right jab now. Good left hand by Camacho, but one Caught punch it. at a time, and he's walking away, George. He's trying to show his corner here. I know you told me to stay off the rope. He hit them, remember? A fighter has a hard time convincing his corner and himself that he's doing okay. Hogan at this point should just get close and stay close. He backs away himself. Well, he's going to have to take some punishment to do it. Well, they say a leopard can't change its spots. But Hector Camacho uh, certainly looks like some other kind of beast than the one we normally see him in the ring. After you, after you move. Throw, throw your left, it's perfect. Your left is perfect. Harold, we've been through eight rounds. How do you see it now? Larry, 78 to 74, six rounds to two, Hector Camacho. I mean, every time Greg Haugen comes in, Hector Camacho flicks the right jab and throws that solid straight left hand and nails him. And I think Camacho's really winning it with his hand speed. But certainly he doesn't have the great legs that he did when he was a young